Yeah, it's going to be kind of an odd day, uh, mm -hmm. Alyssa. Right now, it's not raining over most of the area, but it will the deeper mm -hmm. we go into the day. We say good morning to all you folks in Carmel right now, and that's a look at the Center for Performing Arts. It's good to be in for Lindsay. Lindsay worked yesterday. She worked last night. She's working again tonight, so I'm doing this today, and I'm happy to be here, especially when we just don't have a, a lot going on right now. This is a look at radar. Now, we have had rain in Indiana, primarily to the north, and the south, not too much in between. You'll notice this rain uh, that extends uh, over from Remington to Rensselaer, Winnemac, uh, near Logansport at the home of the Berries there. We've got some in both Cass uh, and Carroll counties, a little bit of drizzle. This is a widespread area of rain I'm watching pretty closely. This is from Carbondale to St. Louis. It's raining right now from Evansville over to Princeton uh, near that Toyota plant. And you'll notice this wide area of rain. Now, there is no severe weather, at least now, with any of this, though we do have heavy downpours of rain. The trajectory of this area of rain is actually going to change a bit uh, with the wind. So. This rain that you see around Memphis and Little Rock, that actually will move a little bit north. This is a developing storm that will hit us later on this week. Okay, let's talk about the here and now. It's not raining at the airport yet. 43, which is wonderful. We're running 18 degrees warmer than at this time yesterday. So that's a, a pretty cool way to start the day. But during the next 36 hours, scattered showers. This rain, once it begins, is going to continue into Monday morning. So we're going to experience a a pretty wet time. It'll be in the 40s Monday and Tuesday, but hang in there. Spring's on the way, I promise, with the 60s by Thursday. You're headed out to church later this morning. Basically cloudy. I do think that the deeper we go into the morning, the more likely it is that we will see rain. And then this afternoon, the fuel play. This is family fun day. If you're looking for something to do and you don't have Pacers tickets, especially since that's a sellout, head on to uh, to the fuel game tonight. They take on Cincinnati. Actually, the puck drops at 3.05. Temperatures will be in the 50s. There will be scattered showers both as you enter the arena and going out. This is a look at tomorrow. And I want you to notice a couple of things. It's going to be really chilly here tomorrow. But to the south, temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Eventually, that warmer air will climb here. Here's how much rain I'm expecting if you count what we get today and then into the evening. About four-tenths of an inch of rain. That's a pretty hearty rain, and frankly, we don't need that much at all. We've had plenty of rain, but we will get this much. And I think the deeper you are in the state, uh, Seymour, for instance, could get well over an inch of rain out of this. So I wanted to show you a broad view of things, take you into the afternoon. This will actually be the second band of rain to move through. We'll get some light sprinkles or showers this morning. This is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Again, rain. If you're headed to the Pacers game, I'm going to talk more about that because it's WTHR night tonight. Uh, there will be showers, and if you get one of the free ponchos, you'll be wearing it as you head out of the game. We'll see just a few showers in the overnight, and then tomorrow morning, I actually think that this line of heavy rain will move a little bit farther north, so include Indy in this. As we start to the morning off, we'll see scattered showers for tomorrow's morning rush hour. Let me serve up a forecast to you on this Sunday morning. Morning, 52 today, the 40s Monday and Tuesday. But Alyssa, we've got some hope. Thursday and Friday, we're back into the 60s.